Hello everyone, it's Ant Hazuki here, back with another Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove video. And today I'll be showing you how to unlock all the characters in the game, as well as the unlock requirements for all the hats, as well as to make sure that you avoid a very nasty PS4 glitch, which basically means the vast majority of the trophies in the game don't unlock. Anyway, let's start off with the good stuff first and let's take a look at the characters. So there are nine characters available in the game with six available from the start and three unlockable. So the six starting characters are Earl, Toejam, Letitia, Luanda and Earl and Toejam again in their old school skins and the three unlockable characters are Earl's mum Flo, Geek Jam and fan favourite Peabody. So to unlock those characters all you need to do is simply complete the game. Um, you need to complete the game on any world other than tutorial. So if you complete it on fixed world, uh, random world or hard world, those all count to unlocking those characters. Um, to simply get them, when you collect the final ship piece, you get transported to Funkatron and during the party scenes, you can choose which character you would like to unlock. And then you simply need to complete it again another two times to get the final two characters. That's as simple as that. Now before I go on to how the hat system works, just a warning here for all PS4 players about a really bad game breaking glitch which means that even though I've unlocked all of these characters the trophy has not unlocked. Indeed I have completed the game with every single one of the characters and it hasn't unlocked. Not only that, uh, simple trophies such as uh, unlocking 15 unidentified presents or doing uh, five um, high fives for characters, none of those trophies are currently unlocking for me. I've identified what has caused it and I have sent a report to the developers, but simply what you need to do is when you do couch co-op, do not select the guest profile for the second controller or a profile that has not been registered with PSN uh, online. So if it's a you know an offline uh, profile, what happened is I played with a friend early on. Uh, we completed the requirements um, for a number of those things like the high fives, etc. And since then, none of those trophies have unlocked. Uh, the game ending trophies still unlock for me, funnily enough, but a lot of the basic trophies haven't. And so it means that having completed this game multiple times without sort of paying attention to the trophy list, um, when I realised I hadn't got basic stuff like, you know, uh, unidentified presence and tried to unlock it, it didn't work. When I deleted my save and started again and did it uh, fulfil the requirements, it then unlocked. Uh, it's quite frustrating, in fact it's infuriating spending an entire weekend playing this game and I'm going to have to start again. It, there is a lot, it takes a lot of time to unlock everything in this game. I've done most of the presents as well, so yeah, make sure you avoid that one. Anyway, on to the hats. Okay, so with the hats, now really easy way to check all of the requirements is actually going to the main menu uh, game manual and go into power hats and you can see all of the requirements there but essentially vast majority of them require you to complete the game on normal and hard the different hats for normal and hard as well um, when you collect, collect the final ship piece and go to Bunkertron you'll get a choice of hats to unlock so all these hats that say you know we've got here hat of uh, sure walking. If it hasn't got anything red underneath them or any notes that means you you will have it as a possible option to unlock when you complete the game on normal. Everything else they will tell you specifically what you need to do. So hat of friend protection or as we've got here hat of amping you need to complete the hyper bunk zone. Hat of breaking you need to complete hard mode to unlock. Uh, some of these are going to be really difficult. I'm, I'm having trouble at the moment completing the Hyper Funk Zone. I've got very, very uh, close to it, uh, but no cigar. But yeah, as you can see, um, there, there's going to be a lot of completing the game over and over again if you're going to get these hats. Now, you can keep track of how many hats you've unlocked by looking at the unlockables section on the main menu. 
Uh, one thing that that unlockable section doesn't actually cover is the Backer Islands, which there is also a trophy and achievement for. As of yet, I don't think anybody in the world has managed to unlock them all. And um, I don't know how many there are actually in the game. I've visited many, many during this weekend trying to unlock them. But again, um, I could have been affected by that glitch. So if anyone does actually know how many there are, please let me know in the comments section below. Hopefully this video has proven useful to you. Let me know in the comments section below. I'll try and answer any questions that you have. You can always find me streaming this game on twitch.tv slash anthazuki. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Hey, hey, over here. Hey.